I'm gonna go ahead and, and prepare some bean soup. Uh, I do my bean soup just a little bit different. We do use pinto beans. And then I do add extra stuff to it. I do the brown sugar in it. I do canned tomatoes or whole tomatoes, uh, onion, and um, ham. It's really delicious. Tastes super good. Except a little bit different than your ordinary pinto beans. But I believe if you try this recipe, you're really going to like it. Let's get this onion cut up and get it in the food processor. been boiling for a while on the stove top. We're going to add one 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes. The onion was about a medium size onion. The onion will completely break down in the bean mixture. So I go ahead and add it now. Next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a third cup of brown sugar in it. That's gonna give it a really great sweet taste. Give it a good mix. Put the lid on it and let it cook. The last step to finishing the beans is adding the ham and we're gonna put it in the food processor into small pieces. You like it better when it's in the small pieces and instead of the great big pieces. I like that I like when the pieces are chopped up because I feel like it's distributed so much more better. Yeah, it does. The beans get a lot more flavor out of the ham if the smaller the pieces are cut. I agree. You put brown sugar in? Yeah, I did put brown sugar in it. The only thing I haven't put in there yet is the no, I already put the tomatoes in, is the salt and pepper. I think I'll save the rest of that ham and put some mayonnaise in it and make a ham salad. You want cornbread in the iron skillet or you want cornbread muffins? I'm going to go ahead and mix up the ham salad now. I'm just put it in the fridge and you can have it tomorrow for a spread.
I got the ham salad completed, I'm just gonna stick it in the refrigerator and What's right here. I stuck it in this gray container. You know, honestly, I should go ahead and make up. I was gonna do a potato salad with the leftover potatoes. I should just go ahead and do that so I'm not wasting those. That won't take me long. Here they are. No, I'm not talking about that. These that I you oh. didn't use last night. Thing is, have you got any eggs put in? I don't have any eggs, but I do have some eggs. Twelve o'clock news on Sunday. I'm not sure if they do or
Oh, I'll put it on there. You want to know what you're saying? That horrible mess here the other day that I got in there. Hey guys, so today for lunch, it's a it's leftovers, it's meatloaf sandwich. If you've never tried a meatloaf sandwich, it's a great way to use your leftovers. Just toast you two pieces of bread, warm up your meatloaf and mashed potatoes, put mayonnaise on both sides of the bread, put the sandwich together. There you have it for the rest of the week to make the week a lot easier. You saw earlier that I got the pot of beans on and going. Those are just almost finished. I just got to make the cornbread to go with it. I had leftover potatoes <clears throat> that I did not use last night. I cleaned those up, sliced them. I got the eggs on and we're going to make potato salad for that. I had a little bit of the ham leftover that I didn't put in the beans. I put some Duke's mayo with it and made a sandwich spread for one day this week. What else have I got going? Oh, I made um, a couple of TV dinners out of the meatloaf and mashed potatoes. They're in the freezer already. That's going to come in handy for a day that we're going to be too busy to cook. I also went outside, did a little bird watching. I've got a red-headed woodpecker that I really liked trying to capture. I got some good footage of him today. And then trying to do some driveway cleanup with some of the branches, cutting the underbrush underneath the cedar trees so that we could see through them. Not sure that I want to cut them all the way down yet. They're not very big. We might need to save those for stretch posts or something when we put the barbed wire up along the road. The beans here really did thicken up good. Wish there was some way that you could smell this. This smells so good. That ham has a smoked flavor to it. But there's the ham pieces in there. We really like it this way. It's much better. My husband can chew it up much better. And it really does thicken up the pot of beans. So the last thing I need to prepare for a meal tonight to go with the ham and beans that we had cooking all day today is a pan of cornbread. I don't have a fancy recipe for cornbread. I don't even have a simple recipe. I just use the recipe that is on the back of the, of the cornmeal mix. This is the cornmeal that I use. Any, any cornmeal mix will be fine. This is just the one that I happen to have on hand. So I've already got it mixed up. It, it was a very easy recipe on the back. That's what I used. Uh, I went ahead and preheated my cast iron skillet in the oven. It's already warm and hot. And I have butter that I'm just going to boil the pan with. Give it a light dusting of cornmeal mix or flour to keep the cornbread from sticking to the pan. If you have a spray, that will be fine too. I just happen to like butter. I just like butter for everything.
and into the oven until it's brown on top. The beans are just right, just the right flavor and cooked just right. Cornbread's a little bit thicker than I like it, but it tastes real good. It's good texture. It's a good meal. You done well. How's the molasses? Good. Brought the flag to work and is handy to have it framed. 